who hasn't been a teenager and done something stupid. I doubt very many of us actually did anything that caused 20 people to die. But this really blew my mind, like learning the character in a new way and actually getting to be the character. Yeah. This is no allegory. This is very much a story of redemption and, uh, uh, and the pursuit thereof and whether or not you get it. So is she redeemable? I think she is. Uh, after reading the play and after having worked on it a lot, um, I've come to really identify with her and it's, it, I do believe she was redeemable and that she is redeemable. I feel like she was misled. She was just uh, taken down the wrong path as a kid. I mean, they actually, uh, there is actually a bit of a more ba of a backstory in the show that gives a little more insight into how she became how she was. Um, but I definitely think she was just misguided. It's a tasty character to, to go after mm -hmm. because, man, certainly one of the more, I would say one of the, one of the highest villains in American dramatic literature <laughs> is Abigail Williams. <laughs> certainly one of the highest up there is one of the most dastardly of all. Abigail, 1702, A Twice Told Tale, which will be running here at the Experimental Theater December 6th through the night. Tickets are available at theaterac.org or you can call 806-371-5359.